So everybody wants to make it, and I feel like there's another level to that when you're in Chicago and you just like, want to like, make it in Chicago. Seeing you both perform and hearing you guys speak tonight, it shows that it's possible, that influence is important, and the city wasn't in that same landscape a few years ago, you know? So who is one Chicago native who began to change that narrative for you, who inspired you? Oh, yeah. Certified. I think he was like the forefather to this whole thing. Obviously, there was like Twister and Common and um, you know Crucial Conflict and Do or Die and like all these amazing artists that came from Chicago. And then like even before that, there was like Curtis Mayfield from Chicago. Like so, we've been innovative and we've been kind of the voice of the streets for a long time. But for this generation, I feel like we'd be uh, we'd be like we'd be tripping if we didn't give it up to yet. You know what I'm saying? He started. He started. Yeah. Yo, word. Come on, man. What's important as an, as an artist trying to make it? Affiliations or validation? Yeah, that's you. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Affiliations or validation. Um, I guess sometimes the two are intertwined, you know? Sometimes people are validated by their affiliations. I've been blessed to have, for lack of better words, famous friends since I was a kid. I didn't want to ask for that. Um, I was somewhat validated by my affiliations. Um, so I don't know if the two are like on opposite sides of the spectrum for me, just cause I guess I fell in a rare position where like a couple of my mans got on. So my validation came through affiliation, but I feel like the most important thing is validation. Although, you know, like anywhere else, like you could be, you could perform at a high level, but if you never take that step and go to the league, you're just that dude that like kind of talked about what he was capable of and the people that might have played against you might be like, yo, he could have killed it, but you didn't go to the league. So your validation is, is like cut for me. How does it feel from the beginning of the growth to now and like, where are we going to get a Femi and Joey feature though? Mm -hmm. um, it feels great, personally, to answer the first question. It just feels like a blessing, you know, like it's a work in progress. It's like anything else, like you just continue to work at something and, uh, you know, you keep moving towards something and that something's going to keep moving towards you. And as far as when we're going to get that track, bro, as soon as we get in the stew, we can do whatever. We can get that popping whatever. It ain't no thing, but it is a thing. Yeah, it's 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 a thing. Yeah, the most beautiful thing about music is that you can look at it as a time capsule and a checkpoint. So, you know, you can look back to where you were a year or two ago and literally like see your, or hear your progression. Um, so it's really cool, man. It's a cool place to be. Uh, just it's been to realize that like being in the city, you look like a Joey Bird, you look like a Chance, with a comedy, with a, you know what I'm saying, no name, with whatever, you know there's so much more you can do. So um, just understanding what the trajectory is and how far it can go. Um, but yeah, it's not a bad feeling at all. Hey, uh, Phil, well, I just want to ask a question for Joey. I love you too, Phil. But, um, like, on the album, how did you get risen to Jesus? Like, as, like, a big young hip hop head, that was, like, crazy to see, especially somebody from Chicago. Like, yeah, how did man. that happen? Yeah, I'm um, trying to know, too. <laughs> <laughs> man, yo, uh, we kind of had, for lack of better words, like, mutual friends. Like, I knew somebody that knew somebody that knew Rizza. And then through the people that knew Rizzo, they knew like somebody that knew Jizzle. And so it's like 2018 for email is a motherfucker. Like, you could just email someone and they could possibly email you back. You feel me? So we reached out through like mutual channels or whatever and we sent them the tracks and they were filming their lives and shit. So yeah, man, it was a blessing though. It was crazy for me. When the vocals came in, I was like in the studio freaking out. <laughs> for real, for real. I'm with Joe, got that fat, going for the low. What? Huh? I died in the Zion 
tryna tell you something. I came in 